Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Miss Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we have already started chapter number nine, and I have given you a complete introduction of this unit. So the name of our unit is Space and Satellites. Today we are going to start its first lecture that that is about space. So my dear students, let's start it with an activity. So here you can see solar system. that the planet nine planets eight planets are revolving around the sun so this is a system jisme hamara earth shamil hai which is called the solar system so my dear students quickly tell me that do you know about solar system aapko solar system ke bare mein padha hai pata hai very good if you know about it then where is the solar system located solar system kahan hai it is inside milky way space mein milky way hamari galaxy hai jahan ye located hai Okay, my dear students. So, define the term in today's lecture. The students will be able to define the term space and emphasize the need to explore it. So, my dear students, आज बच्चे space को define कर सकेंगे. इसके अलावा बच्चे इसको इस बारे में भी जान सकेंगे कि इसको explore करने का क्या मकसद है? Scientists इसको क्यों explore कर रहे हैं? Astronaut space में क्यों जाते हैं? वहाँ वो क्या चीजें जो हैं उनको find out करते हैं? We are going to study about this today. So, my dear students, let's quickly move forward towards the Islamic perspective. So, Allah says. in quran that and he has subjected for you the night and the day and the sun and the moon and the stars are subjected by his command indeed in that are signs for a, for people who reason so my dear students allah taala ne jo space mein jitni bhi cheeze banayi hain unko ek hisab se banaya hai din aati hai raat aata hai din mein aapko suraj nazar aata hai raat mein chand nazar aata hai iske ilawa sitare hain bahut sare so allah taala ne hame quran mein bataya hai ki there are other things than earth in ke space mein earth ke ilawa aur bhi bahut sari cheeze hain jo ke exist karti hain so my dear students let's quickly move forward towards the pre reading question so quickly tell me that what is meant by universe a very important question आप कहते हैं कि यूनिवर्स है हमारी कायनात है तो इसके इससे क्या मतलब है यूनिवर्स का क्या मतलब है यूनिवर्स का मतलब है कि दैट एवरीथिंग ऑल द मैटर ऑल द एक्टिविटीज ऑल द एनर्जी हर चीज जो है देर इट इज इनसाइड समथिंग सो ये किसके अंदर है इट एग्जिस्ट इन द यूनिवर्स ओके वेयर इज द सोलर सिस्टम लोकेटेड सो सो सोलर सिस्टम इज लोकेटेड इन द मिल्की वे हमारी गैलेक्सी का नाम मिल्की वे है हाउ डू वी कम टू नो अबाउट द सोलर सिस्टम सो हमें सोलर सिस्टम के बारे में कैसे पता चलता है बिकॉज द सन इज द स्टार अराउंड विच द आवर प्लान इज रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड सो वेन वी मूव आउट इन टू द स्पेस दैट्स हाउ वी नो अबाउट द सोलर सिस्टम और बाकी प्लान को जो है वो हम लोकेट कर सकते हैं इज देर एनी अदर सोलर सिस्टम इन द यूनिवर्स there are many other systems even bigger than the solar system jiske andar aur stars hain jinke ird gird jo hain different planets jo hain wo revolve kar rahe hain aur satellites hain ye tamam cheeze jo hain there are other systems like solar system okay my dear students uh, let's quickly move forward towards the reading so i request you all to please open page where the topic space is given quickly open it in your science five books I hope everybody has opened the page. Now let's start the reading. Put your fingers where I will read. Space. Space is a boundless three-dimensional region at, that has attracted the attention of scientists for a long. But what is space? Space is a vacuum with no light, no heat, and even no boundary. So, my dear students, what is space? Space, जो है वो boundless है. ठीक है यानी कि इसकी कोई बाउंड्री नहीं है कोई दीवार नहीं है इसके इर्द गिर्द कोई रुकावट नहीं है सो दैट मींस इट इज बाउंडलेस ठीक है आपका जो कमरा होता है इसकी बाउंड्री होती है इसी तरह जो स्पेस है दैट हैज नो बाउंड्रीज इट इज लिमिटलेस और इसके अलावा ये थ्री डायमेंशनल है यानी कि आप इसको हर कोने से जो है वो देख सकते हैं इट हैज थ्री डायमेंशन इसके अलावा स्पेस में कोई लाइट नहीं है कोई हीट नहीं है कोई ग्रेविटी नहीं है इट इज अ वैक्यूम Around our Earth, it starts from 100 kilometer above sea level, where the air is said to be absent. So, my dear students, अगर sea level से इसको count किया जाए तो हमारे Earth के बाहर Earth से 100 kilometers बाहर जो है वो space start हो जाती है. That means there is no air. All planets, stars, galaxies, asteroids, star dust lie in space. 
space has comic radiations emitting from stars and other heavenly objects so my dear students space mein uh, jo hai wo tamam jo galaxies hain tamam jo asteroids hain tamam planets hain stars hain ye tamam cheeze space mein hi exist karti hain aur collectively they make up our universe so iske ilawa space mein uh, jo hai wo uh, radiations hai cosmic radiations hai jo mukhtalif stars se jaise ki hamara suraj hai isi tarah jo baki stars hain unse jo hai wo emit ho rahi hain stars the uh, other heavenly objects and the vastness of space have always triggered mankind to explore it more and more the study of space has unveiled many phenomena such as gravity solar system phases of the moon directions weather predictions global internet global communication the evolution of planets and many more that are yet undiscovered each discovery about space leads us to a new level of exploration exploration so my dear students jitni bhi heavenly bodies hain uh, space mein maujood hain iske ilawa sitare hain aur iske ilawa mukhtalif jo hai jo space ki vastness hai yani ki how big it is in tamam cheezon ne hamesha insanon ko bahut zyada attract kiya hai jiske wajah se insaan isko zyada se zyada explore karna chahte hain aur jaise jaise wo explore karte gaye unhone solar system ke bare mein jana unhone weather ke bare mein jana unhone baki planets ke bare mein jana unhone gravity ke bare mein jana to in tamam cheezon ki wajah se insaan jo hai wo nayi discoveries kar raha hai aur jaise jaise ek nayi discovery hoti hai insaan isko zyada se zyada jo hai wo explore na jata hai kyunki har dafa they find a new thing about the space the quest of this the quest to discover our environment that is suitable for life is constantly intriguing scientists to explore space it is need of the r as well many institutes are working in this field such as nasa sparco satellite ground station pakistan space agency etc with the aim to inquire about space more and more so my dear students jaise jaise insaan ko pata chala ki jo suitable environment hai jisme insaan zinda reh sakta hai to iske ilawa insaan ne space ko bhi discover karna shuru kiya ki space mein kyunki space mein uh, insaan nahi reh sakta wahan gravity nahi hai wahan hawa nahi hai wahan light nahi hai so insaan ne space ko aur dusre planets ko explore karna shuru kiya inko explore karne ke liye proper institutes hain jaise ki sparco hai nasa hai satellite ground station hai iske ilawa pakistan space agency hai ye tamam jo hain ye space ke bare mein janne ki koshish kar rahe hain ye tamam institutes so this is space where everything is located the stars the heavenly bodies satellites comics asteroids ye har cheeze jo hai ye tamam cheeze galaxies they all are in this space and space is what space is a vacuum where there is no light no heat and no gravity and it it has no boundaries so the stars they are emitting radiation cosmic radiations ye space mein cosmic radiations kyu milti hain hame kyunki they are emitted by the stars that are present in the space Okay my dear students now is the time for evaluation so quickly tell me that what is space space kisko kaha jata hai space is a vacuum which is limitless which has no boundaries it has no light it has no uh, heat it has no gravity what is found in space everything is found in space the stars the galaxies the heavenly bodies uh, planets satellites cosmic uh, uh, asteroids comets these all are found in the space so name the institutes that are working on space that is uh, nasa sparco and pakistan space agency these all are working uh, studying about the space now now is the time for practice for which you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form bio teacher so my dear students write down your name and the roll number and then fill in the blank space is boundless region space is dash where no dash and dash exists space is a vacuum where there is no heat and uh, light or gravity space starts from dash above the sea level 100 km our uh, answer true or false space is a vacuum where light and air exist this is false stars and other heavenly objects emit cosmic radiations in space 
true uh, by uh, study of space the phenomena by the study of uh, by the study of space the phenomena of gravity moon phases are unveiled on us uh, true solve some riddles i am a ball of red gas i produce extreme heat i am the main energy giver to whole earth that is sun we are huge balls of hot gases but we look tiny <coughs> sorry we are huge ball of gas but we look tiny to your eyes we twinkle on sky especially in cloudless night that is stars the there used to be nine of us but now we are left with only eight we orbit around the sun that are the planets so you will pause the video and complete the worksheet i hope everybody has done it now let's quickly move forward towards the homework for homework you will do mcq number 1 and 2 given on page number 122 and you will also do question number 1 from section number b given on page number 123 3 so this will be your homework and my dear students the wrap up so in today's lecture we have learned that space is boundless three dimensional dark vacuum where heavenly bodies like stars star dust and galaxies exist and there is no light and air in the space so my dear students i hope you have enjoyed today's lecture keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz